This is how to multiply measurements. It's important to know the conversions of units or to have a chart to help us. There's one in the back of the book that you're working with, or you can find them online. Okay? When we multiply columns of numbers, sometimes we need to regroup the values. If we multiply 25 times 3, we multiply the 3 times 5, we get a 15. We regroup the 10 over here to the tens column and put the 5 down. Then we do 3 times 2 is 6, plus that 1 is 7, we get 75. You know, like 3 quarters is 75 cents. But when multiplying units of measure, it's easier to write our products without regrouping until we finish multiplying. Let me show you. So we're going to multiply this, but we're not going to regroup until the end. We have 3 feet 5 inches and we want to multiply it by 3. 3 times 5 is 15. We're not going to regroup it here. We're just going to put our 15 down here. And 3 times 3 is 9, so we have 9 feet 15 inches. Now that we're finished multiplying, we regroup 12 inches in 1 foot. So we can take a 12 out of this 15 and give that foot to the 9. That's going to leave us 3 inches, but now we have 10 feet on this side. See? We can even do it if there's double digits. If we have 3 feet 5 inches and we need to multiply it by 21, we just do 21 times 5. We can rewrite it on scratch paper. 21 times 5 is 105. That's going to give us 105 inches. Now we do 21 times 3. That's going to give us 63. So we have 63 feet, 105 inches. Now we need to know how many feet are in this 105 inches to give it to the feet side. I know that 12 times 8 is 96, and that comes really close. So there's 8 feet that we can pull out of here. So we'll pull the 96 inches out, but we'll add 8 feet to this side. That's going to give us 71 feet, and over here we're going to have 9 inches left over after we do the 105 minus 96. See? gives us 71 feet 9 inches. So you can do it even by multiplying double digits or even triple digits. Just do a little math on the side, okay? Let's try it again with time. We have 4 hours and 10 minutes. We want to multiply it by 7. We're not going to regroup. We're just going to do 7 times 10 is 70. Then we're going to do the hours. 7 times 4 hours is 28 hours. In 70 minutes, we know 60 minutes is an hour. We can pull out an hour as 60 minutes and give it to the 28. That's going to give us 29 hours and 10 minutes. That can also be converted into a 24 hours for one day with five left over. So we have one day, five hours, and 10 minutes. That's if you need to really keep simplifying, all right? Let's try it with ounces. We have five pounds, two ounces. We need to multiply it by eight. We're not going to regroup until the end. Eight times two is 16 ounces. Eight times five pounds is 40 pounds. That 16 ounces equals one pound, so we can just give it to the pound side. Now we have zero ounces, but we have 41 pounds. See? I talked about in the addition and subtraction of measurements video, we can convert all the units to smaller units and then multiply them and then convert them back to the larger units. But boy, that's a lot of work and it takes longer. So if we have three feet, five inches, and we need to multiply it by three, we can convert this all into inches. There's 12 inches in a foot, so that's going to give us 36 inches plus the five. That's going to give us 41 inches. Now if we multiply it by 3, that gives us 123 inches. But we need to convert it back into feet now. 12 goes into 123, because there's 12 inches in a foot, 10 times. 12 goes into the 12 one time. We do our subtraction from 1 times 12. That gives us a 0. We drop down the 3. 12 goes into 3 zero times. 12 times 0 is 0. We write it here. We do our subtraction again, and we've got a 3 that gives us the 10 feet 3 inches that we had over here. But it was a lot easier to do it this way and just multiply 3 times 5 is 15 and 3 times 3 is 9 and then regroup our inches to get the 10 feet 3 inches. See? It's a lot quicker. We didn't have to do all of this math. See? So just get yourself a conversion chart and multiply all your units first then convert them when you're finished, okay? It's going to make it a lot easier for you, all right? So it's multiplying measurements. If you're following me, we're going to talk about dividing measurements. And check this video's description because I usually have helpful links to other videos, all right? I'll see you later. Bye.